Okay, please press pause and try this one. Suppose we have a nest egg of $200,000 with an APR of 2.5% compounded monthly. Find the monthly annuity yield for a 21-year annuity and then figure out how much interest you receive altogether. We'll start with what is the monthly annuity yield. Okay, So just explain this in case you don't understand. It means you have worked, you have saved up $200,000 from working, you are now retired. Okay, find the monthly annuity yield. It's it's like the retirement uh, amount you're going to get each month while you're retired for you're going to be retired for 21 years. Okay, you're planning on that. Of course, you don't know exactly when you're going to die. So, I guess that's one of the reasons people like Social Security because it's it's uh, it's a guaranteed thing. For example, and another pension scheme where they stay stay with you as long as you live. But this one. Um, it will last for 21 years, then it's done, the money's gone, right? So in any case, uh, press pause and try and do the whole thing yourself, figure out the correct formula and everything. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to help you now. So what do we have? What do we need? We have $200,000, which is the nest egg. Look at this formula here. That's where you plug a nest egg in, right? and you plug the nest egg in, you calculate and then you c come out with the monthly annuity yield. That's what we're looking for. Okay, We want to find the monthly annuity yield. That's what we're looking for. right? So doesn't it make sense that that's the correct formula? You plug in the nest egg that you have and you calculate what you're looking for, the monthly annuity yield. right? So in any case that's the formula we're going to use. So monthly annuity yield or monthly um, retirement uh, yield or payment, let's say, is equal to the nest egg, 200,000 times um, R. Now, R is monthly interest rate, so that's annual percentage rate divided by 12, because it's compounded monthly. So that's 0 0.025 divided by 12, which is 0.00208333, um, zero 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 three three three, etc. So 0 0.00208333. Uh, make sure you give lots of decimal points to your R because if you look at this one, 1 plus R is going to be 1.00208333 and we're putting that to the power of T. Now what's T? It's going to be paying out for 21 years. You've, you've, you've got $200,000, it's going to be paying you out a monthly sum for 21 years. So that's 21 times 12, right? So it's um, 240 plus 12, 252, right? So the uh, 1 plus R is to the power of 252, and then it's all over um, 1 plus R to the power of T, 1.00208333, etc., to the power of 252 uh, minus 1. Okay, so we'll calculate the top and bottom. And then times 1.00208333, uh, 3, put another 3 there, to the power of 252. So we should get something like 703, 703971, uh, point, sorry, 97158, about, and the bottom, 1.00208333 to the power of 252, subtract 1, 0 0.6895344, okay. So, So about one zero two zero nine four, okay. 
So the monthly retirement yield, if you have a nest egg for $200,000, if you live an extra 21 years after retirement, or, or plan on that anyway, you'll get about $1,000 a month, right? How much interest do you receive altogether? Any idea? Well, if you take this amount, 1000 So if you take the monthly uh, payment or monthly uh, yield of $1,020.94, and how many of those are we going to get altogether? How much money are we actually going to get altogether, right? Well, we're going to get this for 21 years and 12 months each year. So we're going to get this amount 252 times, right? So if I multiply that by 252, I'll get the amount, so 1020.94 times 252, I'll get the amount that I'll be getting altogether, 2572.6 point eight eight about, right? And um, so if I get this monthly amount 252 times, I'll get this amount altogether, but I only invested 200,000, right? So if I subtract 200,000, that'll give me the amount of interest I'm going to collect. Because while your nest egg is still alive, until you've actually spent it all, you're, you're collecting interest on it, right? Uh, which is at the rate of 2.5% compounded monthly, or in other words, at the rate of 0.208% compounded every month, right? So anyway, we subtract 200,000, and the interest, of course, is going to be $57,276.88, approximately, okay? Close to that is going to... So, so this is the interest you would get during retirement altogether, right?